Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy. And in this video session, we will discuss about the concept of normalization. And uh, here we will see the basics of normalization and the prerequisite to learn this lecture is lecture seven, so that you can understand how insertion, updation, and deletion anomalies works, so that you can understand this lecture very well. So here we are starting the concept of normalization, right? So after this lecture, we will discuss about uh, normal forms. Here we are discussing about the concept of normalization. Why there is a need of normalization, and what is the use of normalization, and how it help in a better organization in database management systems, right? Uh, so basically, if you will see, the normalization is it is used to eliminate or reduce. Redundancy in relational table because of two or more independent relations which is stored in a single relation. So I am simplifying this term. Basically, normalization is used to eliminate or reduce redundancy. What does reduce redundancy means? Means suppose one data is at the same same data is at different places. So to reduce that kind of redundancy means we have to place only one data and whenever we require that data we will refer to that for example if you are seeing that table student id is here student name age and then if you will see the next table course id course name instruction and then fee here student id refers to student name and age means from any student id you can refer student name and student age and from any course id you can uh, refer course name and instructor and from student id and course id you can uh, determine the fee structure right so basically here if you will see there are c1 database and the instructor name c1 database instructor name c1 database instructor name means this data is same at the three places right so it is unnecessarily creating more space means we need not we need not need that data at different places if we place the data at one place also and whenever we require the data we will refer to that right so why it is uh, getting three spaces or three rows right so this is called as redundancy means what we saying that to reduce this redundancy means unnecessary space they are getting so to reduce that space and to use better means we can say that to organize our database in a better manner we will use normalization so it will uh, create the age of space and uh, the database will be organized functionally right so if you will see here why it is not needed in our database now because of the problem of redundancy now what are the problem of redundancy inconsistency may arise due to redundancy like insertion deletion or updation and these three are also called as database anomalies many time in net exam or your isro exam right many time it is asked that what are the uh, direct question that what are the uh, database anomalies so they give option insertion deletion updation like that so this insertion anomaly deletion anomaly and updation are the also called as database anomalies now what is the updation anomalies suppose if not update then all redundant copies inconsistency occur suppose your data required is that and this data is placed here 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 now suppose you are you want to update the data but the same data is at the four place so you have to update all the, all the four data until you will not update all the remaining three data it will create inconsistency because if you want to update you have to update at all places that is why place all the data at the same place and if you want to update it will get updated so this kind of anomalies is called as updation anomalies the next is insertion anomalies because of insertion of some data forced to insert dummy data I means suppose you want to insert a new data then it might for some times to insert some dummy data which is not required right or which may be unnecessarily in the scenario of the database so this is called as insertion anomaly and if we call it deletion anomalies then because of deletion of some data forced to delete other independent data also suppose the same example suppose this data we want to refer the data and the data is at the three places suppose we deleted the data then we have to delete this data and this data also 
right because if we will not delete or update this data then it will cause some uh, kind of inconsistency in our database because our main goal is to delete that but we have deleted at one place we didn't delete it at the uh, remaining two places that is why we have to use normalization to maintain our organization of database very well so that whenever we update insert delete such kind of inconsistencies do not occur right now to resolve that problem the concept of decomposition is there which is called as or which says that splitting relations into two or more sub relations to eliminate or reduce redundancy right for example here we do not require this three data right we if we place the data in the single row also because by getting student id and customer course id we will able to derive the fee structure right that is why we the suppose you are taking table 1 is r1 in relation 1 is student id and student name you are getting student age from student id you are able enough to get student name and student age and in relation to you can from uh, course id and from course id you can derive course name and instruct instructions right now in regard of these two relation if you will create this relation then from SID you will be able to get S name age from CID you will get C name instructor and fee is independent so by this are three relational data or attributes right you basically what it is does it does that it concise our attributes data means from SID we can get three data these two data from CID we can get this data and from and with both these two SID and CID we can get our fee so this is the normalization you can say that that we have did normalization on relation 1 and relation 2 to make R3 right because SID you can get here CID you can get here so we did just normalization so it will reduce the redundancy right so further we will see some problems and uh, important questions on that in the our some of the next lectures with the name normal forms right normal forms so you will get, be able more clarify that concept there and uh, may, the one to two question may be asked from that right because it is very important concept so please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell, bell button icon so that you can't miss any of the important updates and uh, notification from our channel whenever we will upload next content for you thank you so much guys if you have any kind of queries please comment us and we will solve that have a nice day jai hind jai bharat